Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your next 48, 16th to the 17th of March for Virgo. So let's see what the messages are here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, March 16 and 17 with the Spirit for Virgo. Let's come in here for Virgo, please. What's coming in for Virgo? Virgo, March 16th and the 17th for Virgo. All right. So, you seem to have a lot of options here. I'm getting you're watching. Maybe you're searching for something. You could be shopping for wine, a specific type of wine, or you just seem to have a lot of options here, okay? A lot of resources. You could be confused, yeah. You could be confused about what some about what your intuition is telling you here. I'm also getting somebody keeps repeating something over and over again, or keep talking about the same thing or something like that. Okay, what is this? Um, Seven of Cups for Virgo. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Okay. So I'm getting you, you have a choice between seven things and it's broken down into three. So you're choosing three here. A lot of you could have several options. Okay, but you may be really interested in maybe three of the seven options. So you're dropping five and you're keeping three of something. Three people, three items, three something. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, the sun, and then you're choosing one. So someone here is realizing, this could be you or someone else, that maybe you're realizing you want to be with someone or someone's realizing that they want to be with you, okay? That you're the option that they want or they want to be with you. But I'm getting somebody that's into polygamy, somebody that likes to have a lot of different options, a lot of different shit going on, okay, is what I'm seeing here. All right, let's see. Yeah, the two of wands. So making a good decision, making a good choice. So you feel like these three people that you're going with is a good choice. It's the best decision for you. Yeah, justice could be dealing with a Libra. So yeah. Yeah, the six of swords, two of swords. So you feel like th these are the options for you. You feel like this is what you want to do. You feel like this is a good choice. So this could have been a trip that was going to involve seven people, but now it's down to three or something like that. What's the messages for Virgo? Okay. So I definitely see you, yeah. Yeah, Justice. So I, I, I'm seeing you, uh, yeah. Yeah, this definitely could involve a trip here. So yeah, I'm definitely getting something. You're, you're um, taking someone out or giving somebody something or gifting somebody. You feel like you should put your money into something with these three people or that you should put your money into something here. Uh, what's this for Virgo? March 16th and the 17th. Yeah, the Fool and the Seven of Wands. All right. I feel like you're going to take a leap of faith and ask someone out here or do something here, but you're maybe, maybe you're worried about being rejected or this person. Yeah. Or what's the seven of wands or this person not getting back to you here, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. The emperor, this could be an Aries or an Aquarius here. Or someone's going to say they're going to give you something or or 444 or take you or go on this trip with you or give you something or give you this money or do something. And then they, they reject you or they say no or they set boundaries here. OK, yeah, the emperor card. 
I feel like something is shifting here, okay? Yeah, somebody's real shifty or they shift all of a sudden, sudden or, or they or something changes up all of a sudden. It's almost like somebody they're 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 ready to do something, they're ready to go. Everybody's excited and all of a sudden they stop or they don't want to anymore. They decide to go in a different direction. I'm getting it's because of this Aries. This Aries is deciding to block or stop or something, or someone's stopping this Aries from doing something here. Yeah. I feel like this is somebody making someone in indecisive about a decision they want to make. So you could have, I don't know. I feel like you were like ready to do something and somebody kind of swayed you. Yeah, we have the lovers in the Wheel of Fortune. So, wow, that's, that's literally meeting a love interest by chance here. What's the lovers in the will of fortune? Yeah, the sun. So there's, what's the lovers in the will of fortune? The eight of swords. Okay. So there's somebody you met by chance, by destiny that you can't stop thinking about. You can't get them off your mind. You feel stuck on this person. You want to take a leap of faith. I'm getting your friends are blocking you or keeping you from taking this leap of faith towards this person or going this way or doing something. Something is blocking someone. Here. What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, the Hierophant. We have Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries energy here. So maybe you, you've met this love by chance, but you feel like you're stuck in a marriage or you feel like you can't move ahead or, or you feel blocked or something like that. It's like you're planning. You're planning on how to reconcile, how to free yourself, how to how to get out of a situation. I'm getting you're really you're really standing your ground because there could be somebody here that's just very like needy. Yeah, it's like you're almost trying to, to figure out how to remove yourself from a relationship here out of a, a commitment that you feel stuck in. You have the Ace of Wands and the Devil because you have this like attraction for this person, this new person you have this attraction for. You're like obsessed, obsessively thinking about this person, wanting to rush in towards this person. Okay. I feel like you just want to free yourself here, Virgo, or someone else does. But I feel like someone's holding on or blocking you or, or trying to keep you from, from doing something here. Doing what you're destined, you're destined to be with someone. And yeah, the four of cups. And, and you want to take action or they do, but someone's being complacent. They're sitting here. I feel like somebody's just complacent in a marriage. They're sitting there. They're not moving. They're not going to go or whatever this is. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Somebody feels, what's the six of pentacles, seven of wands? Well, what's the seven of wands? Yeah, the six of swords. Someone is trying to block someone from moving forward, from moving on. Even though somebody wants to, they're put, but somebody's planning something. They're trying to figure out how to do this, how to free themselves out of this relationship. Okay, yeah, because it's a burden. Something seems to be a burden or it's very stressful. Yeah, someone's in love with the two of cups. They want to go towards someone they're in love with. They keep thinking about. It could be this fire sign that you keep thinking about here, Virgo, or they keep thinking about you. Yeah, the Temperance, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Someone finds you to be very sweet, loving, calm, very passionate. Someone thinks about you all the time. They want to make this offer. They actually want to give you something here. Someone is spending a lot of their time planning on how they're going to remove themselves. I'm getting somebody is blocking a lot of people, removing a lot of people out of their life because they want to be with you. Someone feels that they met you by chance and they're destined to be with you. Somebody can't get off their mind. Uh, being with you when someone's trapped in a marriage. They feel like they cannot move forward. They feel stuck. Yeah, I keep opening the deck in the Ten of Wands. Somebody feels very stuck and also very stressed out here. It, it's almost as if somebody doesn't feel like they can move. But someone's very unhappy, I feel, or bored or complacent in a relationship here. Yeah, it could be with a Virgo. 
we have Virgo here, Taurus here, Aries, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? The Five of Cups, yeah. Somebody's disappointed. I feel like somebody's depressed. They're sad. They want to move on. They want to be move forward, but they feel stuck. They feel bound. Okay, but there, but I feel like somebody is missing you very much. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody just feels lost without you. Their, their love, it just keeps, the, the more that they're away from you, the deeper this love grows for you is what I'm getting, Virgo. Somebody has repetitive thoughts of you. They think about you all day, every day. They really want to be with you. Somebody is really trying to figure out how to free themselves from this situation. You have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Somebody, it's this love. It's, it's really weighing on somebody. Somebody's madly in love with you. What's the Two of Cups and the Ten of Wands? What's the ten of, Two of Cups and Ten of Wands? I feel like this love really stresses somebody out. So there, yeah, there is a, there, there's, yeah, the four of swords. This person doesn't get a lot of sleep here. This person does not get any sleep uh, thinking about you, wanting to be with you. This person is willing to do whatever for this love. This person is willing to move mountains to be with you. They're going to figure out a way to free themselves and come towards you here. Somebody is like determined with the, um, yeah, the judgment because they're being called. The judgment card, somebody is determined here with the five of swords to work on this, to put in the work for you, to do whatever it takes to be with you. Somebody cannot stop thinking about you. I even feel like somebody is praying. Somebody does not, they they, they stay up all night thinking about you, daydreaming, being with you, going out, taking you, taking you out for drinks, spending time with you. With the five of swords, that is jealousy and hate, but it's also determination. Somebody refuses to give up. They're going to put in whatever whatever work it takes to win you over here. Somebody can't sleep. What's the five of swords in the eight of pentacles here? For Virgo. Yeah. Five of swords, eight of pentacles, eight of wands. So there's going to be communication. Someone's coming in here. To communicate, yeah, the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Somebody somebody definitely um, sees you as their wish. They definitely want to give you something. Somebody may even want to give you something here. But I feel like somebody's willing to do whatever it takes to be with you. They're, they're, they're going to move mountains, literally, to be with you. They're going to figure it out. Someone's very much attracted to you here. But I feel like somebody has to, some, someone is having to free themselves from something here. What's the Eight of Swords in the heart? Hierophant. I thought something flipped over here. I opened the deck, the world, the Nine of Swords, the death, and the tower. So, yeah, somebody's stuck in a marriage or stuck in a commitment that they want out of. Something's going to end here. In this marriage, they're, they're, they're something. What's the Eight of Swords in the Hierophant? Yeah, the Justice. So I feel like there is a, a legal situation that someone is going through at this time. There's a divorce or something is happening here. So this person is freeing themselves. Okay, let's get a couple cards from this deck to clarify this for Virgo, March 16 to 17. For Virgo. All right, we got well, yeah, great worry over nothing. And then we have tent, temporary situation. So this is a temporary situation. This person is worried about losing you or whatever's going on. So they're they're um trying to hurry up and figure out a way to get out of this. Yeah, temptation will test you. This person is very tempted by you, okay? I see the ear card here. It says good news. So you're going to hear some kind of good news. But I feel like this marriage or whatever, or this long-term relationship is being dismantled. Someone's whole thought process is how to get to you here. We have um, um, bouquet, compliments from an admirer. So this person could be sending you flowers or they want to give you flowers or give you something here. We have June. So the month of June could be significant. 
All right, and then needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. So this is, this you're this person's wish or, they, or they're your wish or whatever. But I feel like a situation is temporary. Something is ending and somebody's coming towards you. They can't get you off their mind. They're in love with you. They want to be with you and they are planning. I'm talking about strategically every second, every day of how to how to get to you. Somebody is determined with that five of swords to be with you, to come towards you, to have this life with you. They feel like they're destined to be with you. They're in love with you. Just period, point break, or this is you. So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow your girl on her platforms, um, TikTok and Instagram, which is posted down below in the description box. Okay, bye.